Hunting Grounds is brought to you by Everett Chevrolet of Northwest Arkansas and by Bedford Cameron Video, Hook, Line, and Sinker Outdoors, Bowtech, Muddy Outdoors, Wet Ink Design, Gold Tip, Eagle Seed, Shea Bug Design, Nose Jammer, Luminox, Four Wheel Concepts, Cross Country Camo, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas, Spy Point. Well, welcome to another episode of The Hunting Grounds. I won't make you wait very long because I know a lot of you are looking forward to this week's episode. But as we go throughout the season, please take some time, share our videos, like them, comment on them. If you're on Facebook, share them. On YouTube, give us a thumbs up. We work hard on them and we want to see your guys' support and we want to interact with you. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's go to this week's hunt. So if you guys remember a few episodes back, I was able to take my first ever Missouri Whitetail. I filmed myself taking this awesome doe. I was blessed to be up there. Awesome property, awesome hunt. Well, a week had passed. I was going back up there, got with Brian Ahern, and I was going to go out and hopefully take my first ever Missouri Whitetail buck. So I got up there a little earlier that weekend, got up there Friday evening. Instead of crawling up in the tree stand and sitting, hoping, waiting that luck would pay off, we were going to do some scouting around making sure that these few days that we had, time was gonna be put in, in the correct deer stand. So Brian and I, we are heading down. We're gonna do a little bit of scouting this evening. Got two days to hunt. Um, we're going down this old strip pit. It's filled up with water. They got a lot of good fish in here, but taking a different approach in tonight. The only way to really get over here is by boat. So we got the trailer motor on back, and we'll see if we can find some spots to go in the morning. We'll see. I can't really explain this property, you've really got to be there to experience it. It's one of the coolest, most beautiful properties you'll ever go to. It's got tailings from the old coal mining equipment and it's just got rolling hills after rolling hills. And these hills can be only 15, 20 yards apart, but they can be anywhere from 15 foot to 60 foot tall. And they literally can take the breath out of you walking into some of these places. Ended up that evening finding another little key pinch point that I busted a buck out of. Definitely looked like a shooter in my book. Um, but that next morning, I decided to set up in another location that looked like the deer were gonna be. But that morning, I didn't have any deer activity, but I couldn't say the same for Brian. I gotta be quiet, but I'm stoked. I just dropped this doe right in front of me. I got a picture of her before I shot her. And then I took a picture of her after I shot her. Stoned her straight down in her tracks. So Brian got a big mature doe. He was pretty excited to get it. Anything that you kill with your archery equipment is an accomplishment. Well that next morning I decided to go back where I had that encounter with that buck while scouting and hopefully he's going to come in close enough for a shot. That weekend, I'm gonna go home without a deer in the back of my truck. So some time had passed, I've been thinking about that Missouri property, and about a week and a half ago, we had a cold snap come through where we were gonna be hitting in the high 30s in the morning on that particular weekend. I called Brian up and we lined everything up and I was gonna head back up there and hopefully I was gonna have another encounter with that Missouri 10 point and we'll see if we can get it done. But this weekend's definitely gonna be easier because we were blessed with the Brownsters Oasis Room that was right there on one of the pits. And instead of getting up early, packing up, then driving an hour to the property, then hitting the boat and having a 50 minute trek into the stand, 
we're going to be able to save about an hour and a half of time each day. It's going to put more time in the stand for us. So climbed up in the stand that morning. I knew I was going to have an encounter, hopefully with that 10 point once again. And sure enough, he came in, did the exact same thing, walked right beside the fins. Again, I'm not going to take the shot, but now I've got it in my mind that these deer are coming onto this property somewhere further down the fence. I climbed down the stand and did some scouting. So I eventually found the perfect spot for the deer to come in on this property, backed off up there in the gobs or two gobs came together, created a perfect pinch point, and I knew things were going to be right, and I was ready for the next morning's hunt. Look at that. You got tangled up in the fence. Would you take a look at that? It's my first ever Missouri whitetail buck. Super pumped. You know, I can't say enough about our sponsors and how appreciative I am of them. Shot this dude at 15 yards of the RPM 360 from Bowtech. Concealed myself with that cross country camo because this buck actually walked downwind of me right up that hill at 15 yards last spot I ever expected him to be the nose jammer did his job he didn't smell me this buck we've got a lot of history with I've come up here for the last three weeks I've been seeing him five feet on the other side of the fence on the other landowner's property 
did my homework, scouted around, saw where they were coming in on this property, sat up, swacker, I didn't hit him like I wanted to. I had to kind of squat down in the tree, hit him in that front leg, came out perfect on the other end. He honestly didn't run 60, 80 yards and slid down the hill most of the way, but man, I can't be more happy about my first ever whitetail buck here in Missouri. He's got some cool mass, a big old body, and just to have him on film, just doing it myself, can't be more blessed. Thank you, God. Thank you guys for supporting us, and thank you, sponsors. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. we got a lot more action pack hunts coming up. If you missed any, because we're producing every single week, please go back and take a look. Until next time, go out of your way, get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors, and as always, have a better than average day.